That title of this episode just spoiled this entire episode, pretty much. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the hell? Who who decided to make that title of this episode like that? Like, seriously, there is anime-only watchers, and putting the title of this episode, An Adventure of the Dying Detective, could you not make it any more obvious that the private detective dude was gonna die in this episode? But damn, I mean, we all saw it coming. It was very obvious he was gonna die after he took the baby from Reiko, so it was obvious he was gonna die, but still, that's just straight-up spoiler, man. Like, damn. So, this episode of Parasite, everything that pretty much I've been theorizing for these past couple episodes came to fruition in this episode of Parasite. The private detective, he gets wrecked hard. He, he dies. Reiko, showing motherly instinct and showing emotions more like a human. She's turning into a more of a human than she was as a parasite. And it just shows you her evolution as a parasite. And on the other side of the spectrum of this episode, you have Tormurano is actually really realizing what is going on here. She's starting to put together the pieces of what is going on with Izumi. So this episode, for the most part, it finishes a lot of these plot points that have been building up for these past couple episodes of Parasite. And it does it in a great fashion. Like, like, this episode leaves us on a cliffhanger, and oh god, the cliffhanger fucking sucks, as always, but it's not as bad as it normally is, because I am actually looking forward to seeing what conversation or what type of conversation Reiko is going to have with Izumi, because Reiko now is starting to have some emotions like a human, like... In this, at the end of this episode, when she sees that her baby, or not really her baby, like her little, you know, test subject in her body's baby was about to be killed and thrown off down into the road or whatever and hit the ground, well, she kills the private detective dude to defend her baby. But before that moment, she has this little sparkle in her eye and it instantly, uh, like, has it to where an emotion is starting to come out of her body. Like, Migi senses it. It's just like, what is this, like, emotion I am feeling? Like, this is the first time I've ever sensed my my kind exert this type of emotion so I'm thinking like oh shit so what is this emotion that she's allowing Migi to sense so I'm going to assume the emotion that Reiko was actually pu pushing out and all the parasites around her could feel it was probably either love or wanting to defend her child that, that most likely is what Migi was feeling and that might eventually kind of change Migi a little bit to where he might want to understand some of these emotions but the thing is besides the overall baby aspect of Reiko stepping in to save her child in her eyes, she also shows other key signs of emotions, indifference, like individuality from other parasites. Like, Murano comes to Izumi's house in this episode, and if we would have went back to, like, previous episodes, like, uh, right at the beginning of the series... You know, most likely Reiko would have killed Murano in that instance because she was getting way too nosy into the business of Izumi and her business, and most likely she would have killed Murano in the past. But with this episode, she was actually showing compassion and kindness to Murano. Like, she was saying, like, I really, like, feel bad for Izumi. And I'm like, whoa, like, she actually kind of feels sorry for what is going on with Izumi. And she even goes as far as to state to Murano know that he will come back and he will be fine. And that just goes to show you she's starting to actually care for humans. It just shows you her development because, I mean, if that would have been, like, a parasite that started from ground zero, like, you know, the beginning part of the series, that parasite wouldn't have given a shit about Murano at all, wouldn't have cared about her feelings, wouldn't have tried to comfort her or anything like that. So, it shows you the development that Reiko has taken in this series. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what real in-game direction, like, her character is going to take. Like, what is going to be her final conclusion of her character. Because she is definitely a major example for the evolution of some of these parasites. Like, getting your own individuality where you can think for yourself, you're different from other parasites. Along with retaining and getting more human emotions, it just shows you how she is actually evolving. And so tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I mean, how do you feel about this episode of Parasite? How do you feel about, you know, Reiko wrecking and killing all those parasites at the beginning of this episode? Like, oh my god, she separates, she's laughing like her body's like this, like, shell and starts laughing and all that. She rips open her head, I'm like, dude, that's fucking nasty. But this episode, like, the beginning, the action, holy shit, that was too fucking good, like... Reiko, I did not expect to see her just wreck all those parasites like that. She enters their body and invades them and takes control. Damn. But, for the most part, amazing episode. Set up a lot of things. Also ended a lot of plot points that we knew that was coming. So, tell me your thoughts. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.